first saw him, when I was first seeing him somehow in New York, I wasn't aware of his history, mm -hmm. you know, of yeah. his philosophy. I was just enjoying the music for the purity of the music mm -hmm. and thinking that was, he was a little kooky and I didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know for sure if this, he's, if this is a real deal or if he's... If there's some pretense in here, but I learned later that hey, this was something wrong. This was he, he, when he says space is the place. He meant it. He meant that space was truly the place that he was going to go to, where he came from. So, but when you first experience this, it is sort of like jarring to the senses because I mean, he takes in all the senses. You see that the visual and hearing and the sight, everything. You know, so it was just it was just marvelous. Marvelous. I can't. I have to profess my ignorance at the time. I did not know the history, and I am still learning the history of Sunrock. Well, that, 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 that's you know very true. I'm sure you know uh, when you first encountered him as a pianist, you probably encountered Sonny Brown. Yes, that would be true. <laughs> yes, that is absolutely true. 1946. You know, yeah, you know. So you know, the, the evolution, you know, was always yes, forward. Yeah, yeah. You know, moving ahead. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, in some far off place in space. <laughs> I'll wait for you. <laughs> you know, and I mean that's sunny. You know, in talking to the people. You know, and I believe that um, you know we're still trying to catch up. Yes, right. <laughs> you know, that's why it's such a blessing that, you know, somebody like Marshall, who's yes, been on the scene, yes. you know, with Sun Ra yeah. since the 50s, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, that's amazing. You know, that he's carrying like the torch and holding it strong, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and a brilliant player, as yes. John Gilmore was. And John mm -hmm. Gilmore also carried on the band yes. after mm -hmm. Sun Ra passed. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think you can't help but to learn, and it's mm -hmm. about the altruism of Sun Ra. Mm -hmm. There wasn't, you said it very well, mm -hmm. it wasn't a gimmicky thing. It mm -hmm. wasn't for commercial reasons. Mm -hmm. It was truly his heart, and it was yeah. altruistic that yes. he believed that the music, that he was genius, yes. never claiming in himself to be a genius, mm -hmm. only to just believe that it would heal, mm -hmm. and that it would help humanity, yes. and that enlightenment, and all of those mm -hmm. aspects of his mm -hmm poetry and his songs and the way he presented them. It's beautiful. And you had mentioned vaudeville, and that is one of the beautiful notes that Robert Campbell uh, develops in this large group of papers, and he devotes a lot of time mm -hmm. to Sun Ra. Mm -hmm. And um, he said that it, black vaudeville was a huge thing, but nowhere probably had it gained as much importance as in Chicago, ironically, mm -hmm. where he had moved to. <laughs> and all those great clubs that he had played, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the Rumbogi, uh, the yes. Delicas, or uh, uh, Mudland, or Birdland. Um, yeah, Mudland. The, things that he, the things that you would see there were, as Jimmy Ponder, when I played with him, said, anyone can go down the street to get a shot and a beer, but if they've come here where we're playing, they're paying more, and we're not going to let them down. We're going to give. Mm -hmm that which we've been blessed we're going to give, and that was a very, very deep spiritual, I'd say, words Definitely. from a great man, and I impart that to Sun Ra, that he would not, as in Black Vaudeville, just say, hey, we're just showing up another day at the office.